This hour brought to you by GCNLife.com. Live younger, look younger, feel younger at GCNLife.com. Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place as you listen to The Bright Side every day. You are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 33 years, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are your go-to source for all things health and nutrition at 844-236-6010. We love hearing from you. If you have a comment or success story, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the Longevity products or the Longevity business or our Truth Skin Health products, which are all available at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase Longevity products, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side. We have been talking about one of my favorite subjects to discuss, and that is the idea of memes versus mechanisms. The fundamental distinction in how we acquire and use information. Memes versus mechanisms. Memes are shortcuts. Most of us, when we're making a decision, we don't spend the brain power. We don't expend the brain power. Usually, we use heuristics. We use mental shortcuts. Now, I understand if you're you know, making a, a really life-changing decision, a lot of times we'll study it a little bit. But for the most part, memes are how we make our decisions on how we run our, our lives. We run our lives on what we believe is true. We don't focus on how things work. We tend not to focus. I don't want to talk in blanket statements. We tend not to talk, not to uh, focus on how things work. We tend to make our decisions on based on what we're told or based on beliefs. Beliefs, what authority figures tell us, uh, what we've been conditioned to to want to think of. Basically, basically these are these are ideas that don't stand up to examination or scrutiny. Memes cloud our judgment. They make us more easily manipulated. And here's the thing about memes. They want to spread. That's the classic hallmark feature, hallmark sign of a meme. It wants to spread. That's why memes have been called viruses of the mind. Now, there's this thing called memes that the Internet has kind of a a new sub-classification or sub-definition of memes that the Internet has sort of uh, given birth to, and that is the meme of the uh, viral image or the, maybe perhaps the viral slogan or song. Now, these are memes. Definitely, these are memetics. But the memes I'm talking about are the memes that we use to decide what to do. And if the hallmark feature of a meme is its need to spread, and it doesn't really care how it spreads, this is a very dangerous proposition because we're making our decisions based on how to live, based on a belief or assist, uh, an idea that doesn't care about us personally. 
That's why memes are so problematic. That's why these mind viruses are, are so problematic. And in virus, in virology, the study of viruses, there's a concept called vectors, V-E-C-T-O-R-S. A vector is the path that a virus takes to get passed around. Mind viruses use human vectors. They use humans to spread. And they don't care about that. The, the hallmark feature of a virus is it uses vectors, but also it doesn't care about the vector. All it cares about is using the vector. That's why the measles is so problematic. The measles doesn't care, or any other you know, uh, health virus that we think of, biological virus that we think of, and we think of viruses. Viruses, by the way, are super, super cool from a biological standpoint. A virus is not even, it isn't even a cell. We always talk about the cell, we always talk about the cell being the fundamental unit of life. We're talking about all disease being cell disease, and you got to work on the cell, etc. Well, a virus is a subcellular form of life. It's even smaller than a cell. It's just a little piece of protein or of DNA with a shell, and it's only now that is a very bizarre concept right there. That there's a living entity that has a consciousness that isn't even a cell. It's just a piece of DNA with a little shell around it. That's what a virus is. And a virus can't really live on its own. It needs to spread through, uh, through life, through other organ, whether it's animal life or, for, or through people life. The Ebola virus, for example. The Ebola virus doesn't care if it explodes you, your blood vessels and you hemorrhage to death as long as it spreads. It only cares, that's, this is the nature of a virus. Whether it's a mind virus or a biological virus, the vector is not relevant except for as much as, the, as it can be used by the virus. And now, this is really important because commercials and marketing and, and, and ideas that get us to buy things are viruses. They don't care about us. McDonald's could care less about you. It wants you buying the hamburgers. So when you start singing the McDonald's song or drive into the McDonald's drive-thru because you saw a commercial or because you just feel like a, some french fries, you're, you bought into a vector. You, or, I'm sorry, you bought into a mind virus. You're a vector. The vector can be destroyed. The virus doesn't care. The virus just uses this, the, the vector, the spreader of the virus, temporarily. It doesn't care if the virus is dropped dead. They will exploit the virus for their own benefit. That's the hallmark of a virus. There's actually a parasite which acts viral, uh, virally called T. Gandhi. And this parasite will infect mice. So why would it infect a mouse? What's the reason why a virus would infect a mouse? The virus is using the mouse as a vector. Because this, and the way this, this virus uses the, this is so cool. The virus will infect the mouse and go into the mouse's brain and deactivate the part of the mouse's brain that makes it afraid of cats. See, this parasite, T. Gandhi, needs to replicate inside a cat. So how is a T. Gandhi virus going to get inside a cat? It uses a mouse. It infects the mouse, deactivates the mouse's normal, natural fear of cats. The mouse just goes right up to the cat, which, of course, eats the mouse. And now the T. Gandhi is happy. The mouse is dead. But the T. Gandhi can do its business. There's another parasite called... Oh, it's, a, it's a fluke. It's a liver fluke. I don't know if it's a liver fluke. It's a type of fluke. A fluke is a sort of a, a, a biological parasite. Um, anyway, so this fluke needs to replicate inside a bird. Or no, inside a sheep. And you say, well, how is this fluke going to get inside the sheep? Well, it uses ants to get inside the sheep. It will actually enter, a fluke is like a single cell. It's a very small little entity. This fluke will enter into the mouse's brain. And it, I'm sorry, it will, it will enter into the ant's brain, into an ant's brain. It will use this ant. It will make this ant lose its, uh, desire, have this weird desire to climb up a blade of grass, knowing, or not knowing, but somehow, the virus uses this ant. I don't maybe knowing is the word. I'm not sure how all this happens, but the virus will infect the ant. The ant will it'll make the ant climb up a blade of grass, which the sheep or the cattle will then eat. And now the virus is happy. But the ant is dead. You see a pattern here. The virus only cares about spreading. It doesn't care if the vector dies. 
And this is really important because there's viruses that affect us, mind viruses. There's memetics that affect us. There's memetics, memes, mind virus that affect human beings that will kill us if we buy into them. And as long as the virus spreads, the virus is happy. As long as the idea spreads, as long as the, 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 the thought spreads. Most of you know that heart disease is the number one silent killer in the U.S. What if I told you for just $54.95 a month you could fight against heart disease naturally? At Heart and Body Extract, we've been helping thousands of people get back to a healthier heart. Don't just take my word for it. Check out all of the success stories at hbextract.com. Or to order, call 866-295-5305. That's 866-295-5305. hbextract.com. Don't risk it when you can take charge of it. Have you checked your Google search results lately? Search results are usually the first impression that people form of you or your business. So make sure that they create a positive impression with Reputation Defender. What the Internet says about you can have a big impact on your life and your livelihood, even if it's not true. Fortunately, you can now control how you look online and in online search results with Reputation Defender. Call 800-831-0771 now. That's 800-831-0771. For your free reputation analysis. If you have negative material from an ex-employee, upset patient, or former client, newspaper article, legal issue, social media, or other source showing up in your search results, you can combat it with Reputation Defender. Our dedicated experts in patented technology can help make your online search results look their best. Call 800-831-0771 to learn more. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Would you like to get back that full head of hair from years past? Now, there is Reveal. Beverly Hills celebrity dermatologist Dr. Nathan Newman took nearly a decade to develop Reveal from natural botanicals to return to a full body head of hair. Reveal for men and women with a 30-day money back guarantee at GCNLife.com or toll free 844-443-6637. 844-443-6637. Reveal at GCNLife.com. Do the letters IRS give you anxiety? I'm Dan Pilla. I've defended people from the IRS for more than 40 years. My book, How to Get Tax Amnesty, created the tax resolution industry and is responsible for helping hundreds of thousands of people. It can help you, too. If you're a non-filer or facing IRS enforcement right now, your case is unique. You need real help, not cookie-cutter advice. My clients get my personal attention. Buy my book at danpilla.com and get a free consultation directly with me. That's danpilla.com. Let's start solving your tax problem right now. For health and vitality for you, your family, and friends, get the Healthy Start Pack from Longevity, as recommended by registered pharmacist Ben Fuchs. If you're a junk food junkie, getting on the Healthy Start Pack is one of the best ways to wean yourself off of processed snack foods and start putting good nutrition in your body. If you have a loved one who's dealing with heart disease or any health challenge, the Healthy Start Pack makes a great gift. If you have a grandparent or a parent in a nursing home, you will be amazed at the difference a once-a-day dose of the Healthy Start Pack will make in your loved one's energy levels, in their memory, in their mood, and in their general outlook on life. Give the gift of optimal health to your loved ones and order the Healthy Start Pack from Longevity by calling 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or on the web at brightsidebed.com. That's brightsidebed.com. Order today. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But soon, you'll need a plan and place to survive. Forget bunkers. You're not a live underground gopher. You need survivalist camps. The ultimate fully functional off the grid mobile survival bug out house that's well equipped and custom built to outlast any other RV or trailer. Bold statement? You bet. See them now at survivalistcamps.com. That's survivalistcamps.com. Trust your family survival to survivalistcamps.com. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844 is our number, and we have lots of lines open for you. We'll get your calls in our next segment. Check out brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com for the longevity products, and truthskinhealth, uh, truthtreatments.com for the truthskinhealth products. Uh, we have a new 
some new products coming out here in the next week or two, so you might want to check back if you haven't taken a look at the site. We're updating, updating the site as well, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. So you've got uh, viruses in the mind, memetics, memes. These memetics don't care, or these memes don't care about the spreader of the virus. They just want to spread, like a virus in your computer. It doesn't care about your hard drive. It just wants to spread to your contacts. And that's the nature of a virus. A mechanism, on the other hand, is how something works. How something works is a scientific principle that has anti-meme effects. You can be inoculated from memes by, by focusing on mechanisms. How something works. Okay, I want to know how antibiotics work. If I have a cold and I take antibiotics, is that going to, how is that, how are these antibiotics working? Well, they kill bacteria. Well, isn't my gut filled with bacteria? Well, yeah. Uh, isn't it going to kill my gut bacteria? Well, yeah. Don't my gut bacteria have, uh, support my immune system? Well, yeah. So now you can start to see why you don't want to be messing around with antibiotics. But if you have a meme that says, I need an antibiotic because I got a cold, and every time I get sick, I need an antibiotic, that's a belief. You're going to be destroying your gut. And I, I know people who have been on antibiotics for years. Years. Now, in fairness to doctors, they don't do, it that, they don't do that that much anymore. They're, they've gotten wise to it with antibiotic resistance. But when I started pharmacy school, it happened all the time. People would be on tetracycline for years, erythromycin for years, for acne. So a mechanism can deactivate the power of a meme by understanding of a mind virus, I should say. By understanding how these things work, uh, by understanding how mind viruses work, by understanding how chemistry works, by understanding how biology works, we can be protected from memes. We want to make our decisions based on mechanisms as much as possible, especially when it's really important decisions. Maybe not when it's like what TV show to watch or what movie to go to. Those are also made, those are decisions that are made oftentimes memetically. We hear that a show is really is is really uh, funny, or we hear a movie is really good. That's a meme. That's one thing to make decisions based on mental shortcuts, but you know, for for entertainment purposes. But when it comes to how we uh, how we treat ourselves, when it comes to our health, that's a problem. In fact, it's a big problem, and I would say that the reason why our healthcare system has failed us is because human beings are making their decisions memetically, and the memes are being spread by people who are profiting off of those memes. That's why you see commercials with, with little jingles. Have you noticed that there's commercials now for, uh, dr for drugs, that, uh, uh, for conditions that are, are affect people in their 50s and 60s and 70s, in our culture anyway, diabetes? arthritis, these old diseases of old age, and they play, always play songs from the 50s and 60s because they want you to feel good. I saw one, uh, uh, the song, oh, uh, It's Magic by, I, I'm sure you know the song, It's Magic, but they had it attached to uh, a, uh, they had it attached to a diabetes drug, I think it was. And they show you playing, they show them play, they play music that's, that is associated with people in their 50s and 60s who are going to have warm, fuzzy feelings about these pop songs. That's a classic way that memes spread by making you feel really warm and fuzzy and comfortable. Oh, I really like that. When it comes to our health, that, the idea that we make decisions on memes is really dangerous. It's why the medical model fails us. It's why uh, we have to be wise as a serpent, gentle as a dove when it comes to making our decisions about our health. Representatives of the medical model, or more specifically, people who profit from the, from the medical model, people who profit from disease, yes, there's people who profit from disease, they have an interest in us making decisions memetically. Mechanisms are sticky. Mechanisms can be vague. When it comes to drugs, mechanisms can be very problematic. They're when it comes to drugs and, and health in general, mechanisms can be a little bit complicated. Not really complicated, you know, a little complicated, we'll say. Certainly the body can be understood without complication. Maybe chemistry, the chemistry of pharmacology is a little complicated. It requires a little brain energy. It requires some question asking. How is, it that a how is it exactly that cholesterol causes heart disease, doctor? That's, a cla that's the classic medical meme in our culture today, is that cholesterol causes heart disease, taking a drug to lower cholesterol will keep you from getting a heart attack. That's the meme. Now, it doesn't stand up to scrutiny because they're not exactly saying that. If you, if you examine the literature, the whole idea is that they'll, you have a lower risk of heart disease, but the meme is you won't get a heart attack if you take a statin drug. 
That's the meme. But when, if we ask, what exactly is it about the statin drug that's doing this? Oh, well, a statin drug stops your body from making cholesterol. Well, isn't cholesterol important, doctor? Well, yes, it is. But uh, we know that you can take lower your cholesterol and have a 2% or 10% or 15 or 20% less risk of a heart attack. But wait a minute, doesn't cholesterol help me make heart protective substances too, like coenzyme Q10? Well, yes, but according to the studies, blah, 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 blah. Studies are, are a, a wonderful way to spread mental shortcuts by just going with a study and quoting a study, by not understanding the mechanisms. This is why I always say, if you're sick, go to a biochemist. Biochemists study mechanisms. They study biological pathways. They don't, there's no memes in biochemistry. And this is why, to me, that's the ultimate health science, is biochemistry. Not pharmacy, not drugs, not medicine, biochemistry, the pathways. How every, the pathways are the mechanisms. The memes are the ideas, the commercials, the marketing. There's a meme in uh, the skincare world about uh, uh, a condition called rosacea. Rosacea is a classic immune system condition. All you got to do is understand the mechanism of the immune system and the mechanism behind rosacea, which is blood vessels opening up in your face. Blood vessels are very close to the skin in the face, facial area. And when you have some kind of immune reaction in the body, sometimes your face will flush. It's an immune reaction. It's a classic hallmark sign of an immune reaction, but still I hear people telling me that rosacea is caused by demodex mites. Mites are little tiny creatures parasites kind of like, and they live on everybody's skin. And it turns out that uh, rosacea, the, the, the latest meme in the world of rosacea is, is that these demodex mites are the cause of uh, the skin condition, this very unpleasant skin condition, which is a classic immune system reaction if you dive into mechanism. But you gotta dive into mechanism. You gotta start looking at the mechanism. That's what I do on this program. That's, a, that's my mission in life, is to try to help people understand mechanisms to appeal to people who want to learn to critically think or to, to appeal to people to try to get people to critically think. I'm, I'm talking to people who are critical thinkers, and I also want people who aren't to become critical thinkers so we can make better decisions. Skincare is filled with memes, filled with a, a lack of understanding of mechanisms. If we don't understand the mechanism of dry skin, how the heck are we going to treat it? That's why we have $180 million in, in moisturizers sold every year in this country, and everybody has dry skin at the same time. Isn't that ironic? We have so many moisturizers, so many moisturizing companies. People have dozens of different moisturizers that they use in a lifetime. They have a dozen at any given moment. People can have a dozen or, or, or 10 or five or six different moisturizers in their car and in their locker and in their purse and pocket, etc. medicine cabinet. But everybody has dry skin. It's because we don't understand the mechanism. We buy into the meme. We buy into the idea. You just spread something on your skin, and, and you you won't your skin won't be dry anymore. All right, I'm pharmacist Ben. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We'll continue on the bright side right after this. Has your body ever gone low blood sugar, feeling weak, shaky, knowing you better eat something fast? We all know high blood sugar can lead to many metabolic problems. At GCNteam.com, we have a healthy blood sugar pack. Focusing on the structure and function of stable blood sugar, find us at GCNteam.com or call 877-878-4203. Nothing feels worse than unstable blood sugar. Call 877-878-4203. That's 877-878-4203. Looking for that edge during those intimate moments? We see many ads for enhancement, but the side effects include death. At GCN Team, we should change the Healthy Body, Brain, and Heart Pack to the Healthy Libido Pack. The brain and heart are not the only organs that require a healthy vascular system. For proper blood flow at the right moment, go to GCNteam.com or call 877-878-4203. That's 877-878-4203. That's 877-878-4203. USA Radio News with Chris Barnes. 
Breaking news as a tsunami warning has been issued after a magnitude 6.8 earthquake struck close to the coast of Japan about 90 minutes ago. That quake was centered about 30 miles southwest of the city of Sakata. There were no immediate reports of casualties. The country's meteorological agency, though, issuing that warning for a possible tsunami along the northwest coast of the main island of Honshu. President Trump formally begins his re-election campaign with a big rally in Orlando tonight at the Amway Center. Police in Orlando bracing for large crowds as some people started lining up for seats last night. It's part of the process if you're going to be first in line. The president tweeting that there were at least 100,000 requests for tickets, although the Amway Center, where this is going to be held, only seats 20,000. And this is USA Radio News. Summer is just about here, and you know you're trying to get in shape. There's nothing more key to getting in shape and recovering from your workouts than getting deep restorative sleep. And the best way to get it is with MyPillow. Now, the offer we have right now is one of the best you've ever seen. When you go to MyPillow.com, click on the two-pack special, type in promo code USA, you'll get two MyPillow premium pillows for just $69.98, $34.99 per pillow, the lowest price ever offered on radio or TV, and better than you'll find in almost any store. Go to MyPillow.com, click on the two-pack special to get two MyPillow premium pillows for $34.95 per pillow, the lowest price ever offered. Go to MyPillow.com, enter promo code USA, or call one 800 951 8175 to get this great offer, a great night's sleep just in time for summer with my pillow. Warning if you're drowning in debt you can't afford, do not let the credit card companies trick you into thinking that you have to pay it all back because you don't. What the credit card companies don't want you to know is that there's actually a way to get debt free without paying off your entire debt or going bankrupt. If you have $5,000 or more in credit card debt, you now have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. For free information, call Credit Associates now. 1-800-959-5759. We'll even show you how much money you could save. If you can't afford to pay off all your debt, do not let the credit card companies trick you into thinking that you have to. Call Credit Associates now for free information on how to get debt-free faster than you ever thought possible without debt consolidation or bankruptcy. We depend on your success and offer a guarantee, so there's no risk. For free information, call now. 1-800-959-5759. That's 1-800-959-5759. 1-800-959-5759. Jake was in big trouble with the IRS. He owed how much? Ninety-two thousand dollars ouch and the irs left no room for jake to breathe they put a lien on my house took all the money out of my bank account took money out of my paychecks so it was a nightmare he needed help fast i figured that all these companies were the same until i called federal tax management you could just tell they knew what they were talking about right then and there i felt like i had some hope stop the liens levies and garnishments fast and qualify for one of several special irs programs that could reduce or even eliminate your tax debt so how'd it go for jake they did what they said they would do. They came through for me. I ended up saving an unbelievable amount. I was so jazzed. I was extremely happy. If you owe more than $10,000 in back taxes, take Jake's advice. Give federal tax management a phone call. If they help me, they can help anybody. Call the federal tax management hotline now. 800-503-8625. 800-503-8625. 800-503-8625. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we're back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we have lots of lines open for you. I want to get to a couple of interesting letters here. Then I want to read a couple stories, and we'll do your calls, 844-236-6010. Got a letter here uh, that is kind of based, it's kind of reminded me of what we were talking about today, about rosacea. Uh, Judy writes, I have used Retin-A for years, and I've heard that uh, heard the Retin-A, retinals can cause broken capillaries. Check that out. I have heard meme that's what a meme is. I have heard for years. She doesn't know anything about it. She doesn't know anything about how this works, but she's heard it. 
Can this be why I'm all of a sudden seeing them appear in my cheek area? She's bought into the meme. Now, the mechanism of broken capillaries involves deterioration of the body. It involves deterioration of the connective tissue. Capillaries are connective tissue. When your capillaries are deteriorating, it means your body is deteriorating. It means the, the most important component, structural component, that is, of the body is beginning to break down. She says, I'm a young 70, and I've never had anything like this before. Well, no kidding. You're starting to break down. Now, I'm not saying this in a bad way. I'm sorry. If, I, I don't mean to sound rude, but this is the mechanism. She, she's bought into the meme that it's the retin-A that's causing it, and she's losing control over her body. She's losing a major leverage point over her body because she has, she's become a vector. She's spreading a meme. She's going to if she tells her friends, she becomes a spreader of the meme. She's bought into the meme, so she's not exactly a vector just by buying into it, but the meme is spreading, is going to spread. She'll probably tell somebody. Pe memes spread through the culture by us telling other people. So anyway, this is a gal, uh, Judy, who needs to be building connective tissue. You build connective tissue from several direct, from two directions, from the direction of what you put into your body and from the direction of what you don't put into your body. Nothing inflammatory, that's digestive issues, that's digestive uh, foods that cause inflammation, mostly. And then uh, nutrition, especially collagen building nutrition, building nutrition, protein, anabolic nutrition, zinc, vitamin A. In fact, anabolic nutrients are one of the most important keys to keeping your entire body strong. Not just your blood vessels, your entire, all your connective tissue depends on zinc, vitamin A, um, uh, collagen peptides, using things like silica, magnesium, copper. Nutritional strategies in general, protein, quality protein, whey protein. There's a meme out there that you, we get too much protein. That's not correct. We don't get the right kind of protein. We get processed protein. We get protein that has lost its nutritional value. It's not that we get too much protein, although uh, certainly you don't need as much protein as we're getting, but the problem is, uh, protein foods that we're getting, the problem is we're not getting the quality protein in those protein foods. Our protein's cooked. So you eat a lot of meat, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're getting protein value out of the meat. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. This is from uh, Medical News Today. Mediterranean diet may be best for cutting the most harmful type of fat. Dr. Mar Mark Mosley explains that he advises people to go on a Mediterranean diet. He calls it a 5-2 intermittent fasting and fast 800 diet. This involves eating less food. And it involves eating the Mediterranean diet, which is a vegetable, fish, and oil diet. And, uh, and meat also. And cheese for that matter. It's dairy, it's meat, it's fish, it's lots and lots of veggies and oil. Olive oil particularly. There's an interesting thing that happens with vegetables and olive oil. There's an interesting chemistry that happens when vegetables interact with olive oil. Vegetables plus olive oil releases certain compounds that improve circulation. This is really important. Now I know that there's a wrap on oils, I totally understand that. Nonetheless, there could be no arguing the fact that med the Mediterranean diet, which is, uses a lot of oil, leads to good health. It's one of the best ways to eat. It's also true that there are, uh, med the Mediterranean diet is a diet that is based on veggies that are grown in volcanic soil, so it's important that uh, we don't extrapolate too much. In other words, we're eating veggies that were not necessarily grown on volcanic soil, and volcanic soil, as we know, is rich in electrical minerals. So the Mediterranean diet can't be totally extrapolated, but it's still a really good diet. It's a great way to eat. I personally like the keto diet. And you can actually do a combination of the Mediterranean diet and keto diet too. There's a lot of similarities. High vegetables, oil, and also uh, quality protein like seafood and, uh, seafood and uh, eggs and dairy. Dairy you've got to be a little bit careful of. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Minnesota and welcome Ron to the bright side. What is up, Ron? Good morning, Ben. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good. Uh, enjoy your program daily. Great. Thank stuff. you. Appreciate that. Yeah, um, I work with athletes, and what's the best thing for concussions? What would you what, do? What, for... do you, what kind of athletes do you work with? 
a wide variety, but mostly football players. Wow. And, okay, yeah. and what, like kids? Kids, high school kids. Yep. High school kids. And they get con- how, for how often do they get uh, concussed? Oh boy, a lot. Average at least every yeah every couple of weeks somebody will get one. With a concussion in the head, or somebody hits them, or somebody slaps them in the head. You know. On, do they get the multiple line. concussions? Yes. Yeah. There's some that gets multiple. Yep. Wow. Uh, you know what? Uh, the brain was not meant. The cranium and the brain were not meant to play football. Right. And, right. and that's just and that's just the facts. There's no getting around it. Uh, I, I would, you know, there, to do nutrition for for a concussion is really about healing. And that's I would be using uh, lots of chondroitin, glucosamine, glucogel, vitamin C, zinc, vitamin A. I mean, you want to really focus on healing tissue when you have a concussion. That's that's a dam. That's a concussion is da- a damage to the brain. And really what you're looking at is not necessarily, I mean, obviously the brain's not meant to play football. So you're not going to really, if they get a concussion, that's like a mechanical trauma. But you can speed up healing. Certainly anything that's pro-inflammatory should be avoided, like things like gluten, sugar. I would avoid processed foods in general. But basically you want to be working, you want to be working on, on building and recovery, and that's the job of things like glucosamine, chondroitin, high hyaluronic acid, bone broth protein, bone broth in general, uh, collagen peptides. Healing is what you're looking at, vitamin A. And by the way, everything we talk about with healing is anti-aging. Everything we talk about healing will keep you living younger longer. So if we're, healing is anabolism. This is really how simple it is. Anab, I think I talked about this yesterday. Anabolism is building. And really what we're doing when we're anti-aging, when we're healing, when we're trying to stay healthy is we're going anabolic. And that's what you got to focus on, uh, Ron, is, is nutrition, uh, anabolic nutrition, especially vitamin C. Oh, essential fatty acids too. Very important. Oh, yeah. Building cells, yeah, cell recovery, yeah. all that stuff. What's it say again? Yeah, EFAs. Yeah. How about eating fish too or is the EFAs? Yeah. Probably yeah, different. eating fish too. Eating fish, yeah. Absolutely, eating fish. Eating, qu- eating fish. Fish is a great way to get omega threes. Omega threes are very important for the nervous system and the brain, and the eyes. Uh, omega sixes are more important in the body for the entire body, and that's kind of an- another. That's a really interesting misunderstanding. Hang on, Ron. I'll let you get the last word when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to the Bright Side. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We'll return right after this. Let me ask you something. What are you doing when you put money in a 401k or IRA or store jumper cables in your vehicle or purchase health insurance? You're preparing. You're preparing to ensure you have enough money for retirement. You're preparing for when your car battery dies or to have assistance paying a major unexpected medical bill. That all makes sense. The same goes for building a food storage plan. You're preparing for when emergencies or disasters strike and shelves go empty at your grocery store. The best way to prepare is with My Patriot Supply. They've helped a million hardworking Americans become more self-sufficient. My Patriot Supply sells hundreds of items, including dozens of emergency food kits at MyPatriotSupply.com. It could be an earthquake, a cyber attack freezing our banking system, or a disaster that shuts down our power grid for weeks. For all these emergencies and more, get your supplies and prepare today at MyPatriotSupply.com. No more rushing to find empty store shelves because you're too late. Do it now so you're ready. MyPatriotSupply.com. Extendivite really works. Just listen to what some people have to say. About six months ago, my wife bought Extendivite. She didn't tell me she was giving it to me. So after about three days, I said, maybe, you know, maybe the weather's changed or something. I said, my, my, my legs feel really good. And she goes, well, I've been giving you this stuff, and it was the Extendivite. And you know that I'm about 75% better. I can actually climb stairs now, and I can get up out of chairs. I can I can even get down and, you know, I have to work under a table or a computer table and work on a computer. I can actually get back up off the floor. You know what? It's an amazing product. I can't believe I didn't think anything short of having surgery was going to help. Extendivite is only sixty nine ninety five for a two-month supply of either capsules or liquid. Call now. That's one 928 or visit heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extendovite.
Would you like to get back that full head of hair from years past? Introducing Reveal from GCNLife.com. Beverly Hills dermatologist Dr. Nathan Newman invented Reveal, which contains polypeptides with natural botanicals and no parabens, sulfates, silicones, or dyes for a salon-quality hair growth product, Reveal. Here's Dr. Newman. I have treated a lot of patients who lose their hair and they lose their confidence. We've created a unique set of polypeptides, which we call HPT6. The HPT6 contains contains the polypeptides from six different plants. The scalp infusion treatment should be used on wet or dry scalp. The Reveal hair care system is designed to be used for men and women alike. Get Reveal at GCNLife.com with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So try Reveal today at GCNLife.com or 844-443-6637. Plus a discount up to 25% off for Reveal at GCNLife.com or 844-443-6637. Jake was in big trouble with the IRS. He owed how much? $92,000. Ouch. And the IRS left no room for Jake to breathe. They put a lien on my house, took all the money out of my bank account, took money out of my paychecks. So it was a nightmare. He needed help fast. I figured that all these companies were the same until I called federal tax management. You could just tell they knew what they were talking about. Right then and there, I felt like I had some hope. Stop the liens, levies, and garnishments fast and qualify for one of several special IRS programs that could reduce or even eliminate your tax debt. So, how did it go for Jake? They did what they said they would do. They came through for me. I ended up saving an unbelievable amount. I was so jazzed. <laughs> I was extremely happy. If you owe more than $10,000 in back taxes, take Jake's advice. Give Federal Tax Management a phone call. If they help me, they can help anybody. Call the Federal Tax Management hotline now 800-503-8625 800-503-8625 thank you for listening to gcn be sure to visit gcnlive.com today Back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. I am Pharmacist Ben, and we're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page, brightsideben.com. You can purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, also criticalhealthnews.com. And don't forget to take a look at our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. If you want to sign up to join the Brightside Ben team, Call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, or uh, click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. We're talking to Ron in Minnesota about concussions. Ron, you want to focus on building and recovery is the basic thing that you want to do. Um, your, your basic nutrients, especially the essential fats, uh, the omega-3 fats are particularly, particularly important for the brain and for the nervous system in general. Anything else you want to you talk about? Does that help? Um, oh, um, how about, okay, um, let's see. Um, I'm 59, and I lay in the sun, you know, the, the better time, and I don't get burnt, but I get these little okay. white dots, so I guess I'm lacking melatonin or whatever, what can, like, can I eliminate that somehow? Uh, you sh- you're talking about when, when you uh, tan, you don't completely tan, there's little, there's little spots there? Yeah, little white dots. Little white spots. There, you know, like on, on your whole chest. body or your yeah. face? No, not on my face, just on my just chest, on your body. Yeah. yeah, that's a sign that your melanocytes aren't working correctly, and that, is, that, that can be problematic. Melanocytes are very protective. Um, I would be looking at things like uh, copper, Nutrients, tyrosine, copper. yeah, copper, tyrosine, which you can get in high-protein foods or you can supplement with. Tyrosine is a, a important precursor to, uh, to, the, to the pigment melanin, uh, and it's been used to treat vitiligo. But tyrosine is really kind of interesting. It's sort of like... Uh, it's sort of like caffeine. It's an amino acid that has, it'll make it a little more jittery than caffeine maybe. Uh, it's a precursor to steroid hormones and, and to energizers in the body, but it's kind of can give you a little buzz in the morning if you do small amounts of tyrosine. It's also a precursor to melanin. Uh, but I'd be more concerned why your, why your melanocytes aren't working as they should. And I, it's the kind of thing where, like we talk about in this program all the time, where the symptom is not the problem. 
So you got You want to figure out why your melanocytes aren't functioning like they should, or, or why melanocytes are dying if they are dying, and that usually involves triangulation with multiple symptoms. One symptom can't get you much of a picture in the body. We're trying to draw a picture in the body when we're figure, trying to figure out the mechanisms, what's happening. That's basically what we're doing here. Uh, when you want to reverse engineer or break down a health challenge, you want to triangulate, and that'll give you an idea. So, so you got that issue. It's not, it doesn't sound significant or overly significant, mm -hmm. but let's find two other issues, and then we can start to form a picture. You follow what I'm saying, Ron? With, with yep. one symptom, that, that doesn't help. I, I can point you in the direction of making more melanin, of making more melanin, uh, and digestive, digestive health is always an issue. But it, it would be easier, and this is just a general rule when you have a symptom, to triangulate. Find three symptoms, and then you can start to form a picture. You've got to co collect, uh, collect the dots before you can connect the dots. You want to come up with three points where your body is breaking down. General rule of thumb here, folks, when there's one symptom, there's usually multiple symptoms that you're not noticing. And so what you want to do is find two more, at least, maybe more, and the more you have, the better, and then uh, tri uh, three at least, and triangulate. So come up with two, a couple of symptoms. Anything else going on? And you might have to think about think it. Yeah, I, I understand. You may have to think about it, but this all fo follows the principle of the body breaking down as a system. In other words, one part doesn't break down without other parts breaking down. Usually our symptoms are linked via this idea that, uh, that the body doesn't break down, it, the body's a system and one part of the system doesn't break down with other, without other parts of the system breaking down. I usually look for digestive issues. Uh, that's the easiest thing to correct, always the easiest thing to correct. It could be nutritional deficiencies, that's another thing uh, that you might want to, well, as I say, that might, you might want to add into your program. But I, I would be looking for, uh, Generally speaking, through two other symptoms. I, I can't really help you with just one symptom except to tell you to do use nutrients for uh, protecting the melanocytes and helping you make... Melanocytes, by the way, means cells that make melanin, cells that make pigment. Melan, melanocytes make pigment, and then they inject that pigment into skin cells, and then the skin cells darken when you get in the sun. If your melanocytes are dying, or if the melanin that they're producing is somehow, or, or they're not producing the melanin, then uh, that's, you're going to have an issue with, uh, with, with darkening or lack of darkening. And you can build the melanin, but you know, it sounds, if it was me, I'd be looking for other symptoms. Ron, i got to let you go. I want to get some more calls here, my friend. I hope I helped Thank you, you out. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. And let's go to uh, Darlene in California and say good morning. What's up, Darlene? Hello. Hello, hello. What's up, Darlene? Good morning, Dan. Good morning. I've been listening to you, and I have so many questions in regards to my husband's um, oh conditions here. He had an aortic dissection back in October of 2017, and I just have um, he's on he on one med actually, which was Lavox. Uh, well, for the thyroid. Levoxa. That's the only medication he's on. That's the only medication he's on, but I've been trying to do the supplements, and I just need to know, I would like to know how to uh, figure out whether those supplements, whether his body is actually absorbing them. Well, you don't know. There's no way to know. Uh, well, you, you know by how he, how he is benefiting. That's the only way to know how he benefits. You don't, there's no way to know except for the effects. And you can't do a test. So that's a problem. Absolutely. That's why I like liquid nutrients the best. They're easily, much more easily absorbed, like the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and he should definitely be on that. Everybody should be on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and that's the secret to why it works so well. It's a liquid. So, okay, but your well, question is very question. important and well taken. We don't know. An aortic dissection, by the way, is when the inner lining of the aorta, the inner layer of the aorta, um, tears. The aorta is extremely important, obviously. It it's feeds the heart, or it comes off of the right. heart, I should say. Uh, and uh, and uh, if it tears, you got a problem, and that's what an aortic di dissection is, and it can be very serious. What do they do? Well, they actually pretty much they did the surgery on him, and they're saying it's a miracle that he came through it because I believe uh, it. It's a serious thing. Did and, he pass out? What would happen? Well, actually, he did sort of. He passed out that morning. He just he grabbed himself. He was just ready to get up to use the bathroom. And he grabbed himself right in the. Uh, the upper part of his I can only chest. imagine. And he, that, said, what? and he said, I, I, I have never had a pain like this before, I know, and can't I didn't even, know what was going on. Oh, my God. That, I can just feel it just by you telling me. Yeah, uh, that is all, was, that's an awful thing. Awful thing. He passed uh, out he, on me. He, how old is you he? Know, I, 
He's 93. Oh, no, my he's goodness. 94. 94. Excuse and he's doing, and otherwise he's doing well. Well, not really, because no. now they diagnosed him with uh, Parkinson's. Okay. Well, well, you know, they could be related. He wasn't getting blood, to, if he's not getting blood to the brain. Here's the deal. When the aorta tears like that, an aortic dissection, uh, you're dealing with connective tissue deterioration. Now, he's 94, so a certain amount of that is just going to be inevitable. But you want to really start focusing on the same, like I was talking to Ron, building the connective tissue, healing, recovery, vitamin okay. C, copper, reducing the sugar intake. In fact, only eating foods that are powerful uh, anabolic foods like, like protein and eggs and seafood and that, that kind of thing, uh, college, uh, bone broth protein supplements, bone broth, chicken soup, that kind of thing. You want to build connective mm -hmm. tissue. Anything you do to build connective tissue, but this is what we all have. Like I was saying earlier, we all have to do this. He has to do it a little with a little more vigilance. He has to pay a little more attention to doing it because he's 94, number one, but also because you know he's already got a significant breakdown in his body. And the you know, you guys, nobody wants to feel this. This is a I, I can only imagine what this has to feel like for a guy that you're basically your heart is tearing, or at least part of your, a major part of your circulatory system, if not specifically your heart, your aorta, which is close enough. Uh, you got to really, you, for all of us, we all have to do things. People who have connective tissue diseases, by the way, are more prone towards this too. Um, but really, I, I would be doing all the things you need to do, we all need to do to be building zinc, vitamin A bone broth protein, high hyaluronic acid supplements, liquid silica gel. These are all things that will keep your bones, your, uh, your circulatory system strong, your bones strong, your skin healthy. It will prevent you from getting ruptures and prolapses and hernias. And it will allow you to age gracefully. We're all going to age and we're all going to die, but we want to do it gracefully. We want to do it with strength and power and joie de vivre. And uh, aging is inevitable, but, but deterioration can certainly be slowed down and that's what we're looking for. That's what the world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation is really about. It's about aging, in my opinion anyway, it's about aging gracefully and uh, without, having to, without uh, having to deal with horrible, horrible pain and, uh, that's associated with breakdowns like aortic dissections. Darlene, got to go. Thank you so much for your call. Hope we helped you out. And thank you for listening to The Bright Side. Check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for the longevity products and truth Treatments.com for all our true skin health products. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.